Now we are going to do in detail the simple compound and complex sentences. Okay? We just saw a briefing of simple compound and complex sentences, how they are formed and uh, what they are actually. Now I am going to teach you how to convert simple to compound and compound to complex. Okay? So, the heading is simple compound complex. <coughs> simple compound and complex sentences. Actually, there are three different types of sentences, but students usually find these, uh, this concept very, very complex and confusing. Okay? It is nothing if you only understand the basic concept and learn and try to do things accordingly, you can easily score marks. Okay? Now, I am going to give you some sentences using to and so that. Simple to complex, I am going to first change and then I will teach you to change it into compound. So, uh, under this transformation, changing. <coughs> simple to complex. Using to and so that. Now, you have already learnt the conjunctions, so that is one of the subordinate conjunction. So, all subordinate conjunctions will be used in complex sentences. To is not a conjunction at all and uh, this always TOO comes in the simple sentence. I okay? will give a few sentences and I will uh, help you to convert it. Um, take down. First one, she is too proud to apologize. Okay, now two, the this concept is going to be changed and so that is going to be used for complex sentences. Now, what sentence is this? This is simple because it has only one finite verb. She is. Okay. Only one finite verb and one subject. Now, I am going to change this into complex sentence using so that. She is so proud that she will not apologize. Okay. <clears throat> now your views so and that. Okay, uh, listen now. She is here, she is so proud that she will not again another uh, verb you have used. That is what you can see now very clearly. She is so proud that she will not apologize. She will not apologize is the main clause or independent clause. She is so proud that that is a dependent clause. So, you can divide the sentence into two 
where you have one independent clause and another dependent clause. So, this is the independent clause or main clause which has one single uh, subject and one finite verb here. Whereas, in the dependent clause also you have a subject and another verb, but here we have words which makes it depend on this. So, that makes it depend on this. Is that clear? She will not apologize that alone makes meaning. She is so proud that that she is too that she is so proud that becomes a dependent clause. So, it makes this into a complex. So, whenever you have T O O in simple sentence you have to use so that like this. Okay, Is that clear to make it into a complex sentence. Okay. Whenever you have T O O you have to use so that in order to make it into a complex sentence. Is that clear? Okay, I will give you some more sentences and you will learn how to convert it. Okay. He is too honest to accept bribe. So, what is this? This is a simple sentence. Wherever you have T O O, it is a simple sentence. Now, you are going to change it into complex. He is so honest. Honest. H is silent, so you just pronounce it as honest. She, he is so honest that he will not accept bribe. This becomes complex. It is so easy. See, once you know the rules to uh, change simple to complex, it is going to be so, so easy. Okay? One more sentence I will give you. The milk is too hot to drink. Now, what is this? Simple. How can we change this into complex? The milk is so hot that we cannot drink. The milk is so hot that we cannot drink. So that, again here, so that. This is complex. Yeah, now is it clear? Shall I give you some more sentences? Okay. Next one. This news is too good to be true. Too good to be true. What is this? This is simple. I am going to change this into complex now. This 
news is so good that it cannot be true. And what is this? This is complex. Now one more thing here, if you have noticed, <clears throat> she is too proud to apologize. Now when you use so that, you are using a negative. That's why I wanted to finish with the four sentences and then explain. She is too proud to apologize. To apologize is the infinitive, isn't it? The finite verb infinitive you have already learnt. So, to apologize here becomes she is so proud that she will not apologize. So, we add one negative here. Whenever we use so that, we use a negative. He is too honest to accept bribe. He is so honest that he will not accept bribe. So, when you change it into complex, the T-O-O -O becomes so that and a neg negative. Okay? This pattern of sentences will change like this. When you have two in T-O-O -O in simple sentence, in a complex, it will add so that and it will take a negative. The milk is too hot to drink. The milk is so hot that we cannot drink. See? Everywhere we use a negative. This news is too good to be true. This news is so good that it cannot be true. Okay. One more shall I give you to make it five. This is one pattern using to and so that. Okay. This is one of the patterns of changing simple to complex. I will give you one more sentence. Um, he will be too late to catch the train or they will be, they will be too late to catch the train. Okay, this is simple. And I'm going to write it. They will be so late that they cannot catch the train. They will be so late that they cannot. Catch the train. See again now we have used so that and also a negative. Okay, now let's see how to change these sentences into compound sentences. Okay, now without changing the meaning, we are changing simple to complex. And uh, now is it clear whenever you have T-O-O -O, you have to use so that and plus a negative. So if you use so that you have to use a negative one negative word to make that positive. Okay. Uh, that is very clear. Now she is too proud to apologize. She is uh, proud and she will not apologize. Compound sentences two separate sentences, two independent clauses connected by and. So, she is uh, or she is very proud and she will not apologize. Okay, again here also in compound sen sentence also we are going to uh, take the negative. She is very proud proud 
and she will not I'm sorry and she will not apologize okay now I'm, I'm just uh, I've just written one and uh, later I will just orally tell you and you take down okay see she is very proud is complete sentence she will not apologize makes complete sense it is connected by the coordinating conjunction just that is why we did conjunction in detail coordinating conjunction makes a compound sentence and subordinating conjunction makes it into a, a complex sentence that whenever we use that which when all this makes it into a complex okay so everywhere we can use and now he is too honest to accept bribe he is very honest and he will not accept bribe the milk is very hot and we cannot drink it uh, the, the news is very good and it cannot be true uh, they will uh, they will uh, be okay they will be very late and they cannot catch the train is that clear now how to change simple uh, to complex and simple to compound this is the method for this particular pattern next pattern i'm going to uh, teach you uh, a different pattern of simple to complex and compound okay is that clear now revise properly you should never have a doubt because this is very very essential that you will know in classes uh, 8 9 10 11 and 12 it's very important the next pattern is changing simple to complex using in spite of in spite of for simple and although even though for complex although even though though okay now shall we see the sentences in spite of the box or in spite of um, the movie being bad <clears throat> people watched it okay whenever you have in spite of for simple sentence whenever you have in spite of in a simple sentence when you change it into complex it either takes although even though or though okay anything you can use so i'll use although now although the movie was bad <clears throat> the movie being bad will become though although the movie was bad people watched it and what is this this is complex sentence
Okay. Now, if you see, um, this makes it, although the movie was bad, it cannot stand alone because it has to depend on the main clause. People watched it. So, although is a subordinate conjunction which makes this sentence into a complex sentence. Okay. Now, I am going to leave some place for compound and I will change, uh, start the second one. In spite of uh, Shaker being rich, he was humble. Okay, now in spite of makes it into a simple sentence. Now I am going to change or I am going to use um, although or even though or though and make this into a complex sentence. Even though Shaker was rich, he was humble. Okay, uh, this even though makes it into a complex sentence, subordinate conjunction even though makes it into a complex. Okay, third one. In spite of it being a hectic day, the children were very enthusiastic okay in spite of it being a hectic day the children were very enthusiastic now i'm going to use though we can use anything although or even though or though okay though it was A hectic day, the children were very enthusiastic. Okay, now uh, if you see here, uh, although or even though or though the movie was bad, people watched it. Okay, now let's see. In spite of the movie being bad, now we are using the um, ing form of the verb here, but here it becomes the ordinary verb. Okay, In sp because when we use the non finite verb ing that is gerund here then we have only one finite verb whereas here although the movie was bad people watched it so was is also one verb and watched also is another verb that is why it is a complex sentence because it is uh, joined by a subordinate conjunction in spite of shaker being rich he was humble even though shaker was rich he was humble. This is complex. And here, in spite of it being a hectic day, the children were very enthusiastic. Though it was a hectic day, the children were very enthusiastic. Now, how can we change these sentences into compound sentences? 
<coughs> whenever you have this in spite of in simple sentence and although even though though in uh, complex sentence the pattern for compound will be using but or yet ok please remember this whenever you have in spite of in a simple, uh, simple sentence and although even though though in a complex sentence then the pattern uh, to be used for a compound is but or yet. So, this is for simple and this is for complex and we are going to use but for compound just without changing the meaning. In spite of the movie being bad people watched it. Ok, I am changing this into compound. The movie was bad yet the people watched it. Ok, now yet or but you can use. If you see we have two separate sentences the movie was bad the people watched it it is being linked by a coordinate conjunction yet or but. In spite of Shaker being rich he was humble even though Shaker was rich, he was humble. Shaker was rich but he was humble. So what is this? It is a compound sentence. Ok, in spite of it being a hectic day the children were very enthusiastic. Though it was a hectic day the children were very enthusiastic. So this is simple and this is complex. Now let us change it into compound. It was a hectic day but the children were very enthusiastic. Children were very enthusiastic and this is compound. Ok, I have taught you two different ways of changing or transforming simple into complex and complex into compound. So, is that clear? Two different methods of changing and how when TOO is used how to do and in spite of is used what to do. Is that very very clear? I am sure if you keep revising this way you will score full marks. Not only in your test but also in my test which I am going to give you by the end of this uh, chapter. Next I am going to uh, teach you to transform compound to complex sentences. Okay? In this also we will do um, a different type like using unless and or ok. This is um, compound to to complex ok. First one, <clears throat> spare the rod, 
and spoil the child. Okay, spare the rod and spoil the child and so this is compound. What does this mean? Spare the rod and spoil the child. That is if you do not correct your children when they are young, when they grow up they will be spoiled. Actually those days they used to beat a child or correct them by using the corporal punishments like uh, be hitting them with a cane to uh, admonish them or to correct them. But these days children are so very sensitive that we cannot use uh, corporal punishments but even then we have to correct them, we have to check them when they are uh, going in the wrong path. So spare the rod, if you do not correct them at the right time when they grow up you will spoil the child, that is what this line means. Okay, Now how are we going to change this into a complex sentence? If you, okay, that is spare the rod and spoil it. If you spare the rod, you will spoil the child. Okay, this is complex. Okay, how will you change this into simple? Now you make this uh, spare the rod into um, gerund. Okay, sparing the rod, you will spoil the child. That's how you will write the um, simple sentence. Second one. Work hard or you will fail. Now when we use or, this is another pattern. When we use or for compound, We have to always use unless, unless you work hard you will fail. This is complex. If I, if I want to change this into simple, I use the words in case of, okay. In case of, In case of not working hard, you will fail. Bearing the rod, you will this is simple. Okay. 
okay. Whenever we have or in the compound sentence, we have to use unless for complex sentence and for simple we use in case of. Okay, these are the clue words. Uh, when we have and, you use if and we use uh, gerund. When we have or, we use unless and in case of. Next one, he heard the sound or he heard the gunshot and ran away. This is compound. Which is making it into a compound and. If you see compound sentences will have coordinating conjunctions like and, or, um, but, all this. Okay. We saw in the previous uh, um, exercise we saw using but here we see and and or. He heard the gunshot and ran away. So this is compound. Let's see how to make this into complex. When he heard the gunshot He ran away. This is complex. How will we change this into simple on hearing? The gunshot. He ran away. This is simple. If you see now, uh, whatever you have learned so far, that is finites and non-finites and conjunctions, all these are applied in these simple compound complex sentences. You see? Uh, for simple sentence, we are using the uh, gerunds. We are using the non-finite verbs and uh, on hearing, sparing. Okay, and we are also using conjunctions uh, for compound sentence. We use coordinate conjunction, and for complex sentences, we use subordinate conjunction. Now, which is the subordinate conjunction here? If if this is a subordinate conjunction, conditional uh, clause we call it and here we call unless is a subordinate conjunction and when is a subordinate conjunction. Okay, so I have given you three sentences, one more shall I give you. He is poor but honest using but okay even though he is poor He is honest and in spite of being poor, he is honest. 
this is compound this is complex and this is simple okay now if you see here I've given you four different kinds of uh, four different ways of changing compound into complex the first one is using and spare the rod and spoil the child is compound if you spare the rod we are using the subordinate conjunction here if you spare the rod you will spoil the child this is complex and here we are using the non-finite gerund sparing the rod you will spoil the child it is simple sentence next one work hard or you will fail or is a coordinate conjunction and it is compound uh, sentence when we ha whenever we have or in a compound sentence please remember we have to use unless for complex sentence unless you work hard you will fail for complex sentence whenever there is or in uh, compound we have to use unless for complex and in that case for simple sentence we have to use in case of in case of not working hard you will fail okay simple next pattern he heard the gun shot and ran away this is compound when he heard the gunshot he ran away now when is a subordinate conjunction so it makes it into a complex on hearing the gunshot he ran away this is simple so for simple uh, sentence we always use the non-finite verbs to make uh, that sentence with only one finite verb see he ran away is the main sentence on hearing the gunshot is a uh, uh, it it is uh, and it is a complement of that okay on hearing the gunshot he ran away there should be only one finite verb for a simple sentence whereas for complex and compound there can be uh, more than one is that clear he is poor now in the next pattern he is poor but honest now I've used and or and but three coordinate conjunctions he is poor but honest this is compound so whenever we have but in the compound sentence you use even though though or although I have already taught you in the previous one and you have to use in spite of for simple sentence okay this is the pattern set pattern if there is but in the compound sentence you have to use even though for complex sentence and in spite of for simple sentence okay I am sure you have got uh, to know a little more of transformation now first we saw simple to complex now we saw compound to complex and simple so both ways you are thorough with are you sure of this uh, concept I hope you are okay I'm sure you have learnt all the methods now. I'm going to give you a test. Okay, let's see how well you have understood. If you answer the test well, that means that you have understood what I taught you. Okay, I'm going to give you a test in this transformation. Okay, I may give you a sentence and ask you to change into something else. change the following as directed ok five sentences into two ten marks first sentence
I have found the watch that I had lost. into simple you have to convert this sentence into simple what is this what sentence is this I have found the watch that I had lost so this is a complex sentence because you have a subordinate conjunction that so you are going to change complex into simple Next one. He failed because he did not work hard. into compound next sentence exercise daily or your health will be will be ruined into complex next one he has he made a mistake and this I am certain into simple Although the captain saw the danger, he carried on. into compound okay I've given you five sentences and I've asked you to change into like I've asked you to convert or transform these sentences into this first one into simple second one into compound third one into complex uh, fourth one into simple and fifth one into compound. Now you have to read it 
thoroughly first understand what sentence it is okay now i have given you into what but you first locate what sentence it is i have found the watch that i had lost what is it it is a complex sentence so you have to first write it into now you are going to change it into simple so i'll just write simple over here and i'm going to cut this and write what it is what is this this is complex okay next one he failed because he did not work hard because what is it it is a complex sentence and you are going to change it into compound next one exercise daily or your health will be ruined or so is a coordinating conjunction so this is a i'll just write this here complex and this is a compound sentence okay next one he made a mistake and this i am certain this is a compound and you're going to change it into simple so what is this you have a coordinating conjunction so it is compound and although the captain saw the danger he carried on he carried on and what is this you're going to change it into compound and although when do you use for complex sentences so this is a complex sentence okay now are you ready now to finish this we are going to change this into simple i'll i've given you enough time to finish your test 2 marks per sentence and you're going to get 10 marks now i have found the watch that i had lost so how do you change it i have found the lost watch this is simple have you written that way okay put a tick and give two marks he failed because he did not work hard because is a subordinate conjunction so it's a complex sentence you're going to change it into compound he failed due to his not working hard or due to his negligence in work we can say he failed due to his not working hard exercise daily or your health will be <coughs> exercise health, uh, daily or your health will be ruined when you have or what did i tell you you have to use you are you are going to change it into complex i'm sorry here we have we have to change it into compound i made it into simple mm. so he failed i'll just this i changed it to simple but i have to change it into compound isn't it 
will change it now. Okay. He did not work hard. He did not work hard. And so he failed. Okay, so this is compound. We have used and. Okay, next one. Exercise daily or your health will be ruined. When you have or in a compound sentence, we have to use unless in complex. Unless you exercise daily. Your health will be ruined. Okay, this has become complex. Okay, he made a mistake and this I am certain. And is a coordinating conjunction. It's a compound sentence. We are going to change it to simple. I am certain of his mistake. This is simple sentence. Is that clear? The last one now. Although the captain saw the danger, he carried on. Whenever we have although, I told you how to change it into compound. Whenever you have although, you have to have but in the compound and in spite of in the simple sentence. So now we are going to change it into compound. The captain saw the danger but he carried on. Okay. So I have converted that into compound. But is a coordinating conjunction. Okay. Have you got full marks now? Check it out. Two marks each. Now if you have written the answers correctly. Put a tick and give two marks. Tick. Tick, tick, tick and tick. If you have got all the five correct, you get 10 on 10. And you get a star. And a very good. Have you got 10 on 10? Then you are really, really good. You are not only a star, you are a superstar. Good.